Oh, you guys can't see the mountains by me. It's so bright. It's 7.30 in the morning, I think. Had some coffee. A little over a week left to go. Gonna miss this place once again. But, uh, I know why they call it third world. And if there's a fourth world. But uh, we have no water flow right now. The internet went off last night. And it's been off ever since. They uh, text my wife. After she probably texted me many times. Saying the line broke but it's too wet to go up on the pole. They just, they're just not really good at what they do. I worked for Dish at Costa for a few years. Guys go out anytime, but that's not here. So you have brown out, no internet, no water. So if anybody's watching this expat moving to the Philippines and all gung-ho and everything, you better think about it first. It's a lot of comfort of home and you're not gonna get here. Depends on where you're, uh, where you're living. But on the other hand, update, this country just turned on the nuclear power plant that they built in 1984. What do you know? That should change power in this country. It's up towards Manila, so I'm not sure how much it's going to affect Mindanao. Or it should help a lot of people. Not so many brownouts as they have. When you guys come in here, they just change the rules again for the health path and pass and all that stuff. Check out Jennifer Terry's channel. I should leave a link below. I said I should and said I was going to. And uh, a friend of mine that comes in a live stream, uh, John Fears, check out his channel. Gold mining. He's looking at flights but it's very very expensive from uh, Canada I think it's a little ridiculous I don't know if that's one way and then this whole thing about needing a uh, what do they call it? a throwaway ticket it's kind of a crock we came here in Ballot Bayon and uh, I didn't need no throwaway ticket but people were telling me I did so I bought a ticket you can get the cheap ones for like 12 bucks and last 30 days or something. I actually bought a ticket to Hong Kong me for me and my son. And that never happened, but I did get to use the voucher. Two years they give you if you don't use your ticket. And that's how we're getting to Manila. Uh, then we have a short lay over there. Then I think it's nine and a half hours. It's not too far to uh, Saudi Arabia. And they have a lounge there. Oh, if I talk about the same stuff, that's okay. I'm over 60. I'm allowed to repeat myself. My son's still sleeping. He feels better. His nose is not running. His eyes not tearing. That's a good thing. Oh, I'll be at my daughter for a couple days in Mass. And it depends on how long she wants to keep us, but... We actually want to uh, get to Texas as soon as possible. Another thing when you come here, everybody says, oh, they speak English. Yeah, they speak English. They don't want to speak English. They don't want to talk to you, and then they have to uh, deal with our slang. That's the whole problem. Apparently, we have a slang, some of us. But, uh... You read and read and write in English, anyways. Well, five minutes into this vlog here.
but uh, update power plant being turned on built in 1984 nuclear power plant they were afraid to use it because corruption back in the day but uh, that's a good thing for this country this is a beautiful place wonderful people I feel like rice they got plenty of it <laughs> but um, that's pretty much an update and also they changed entry rules coming back into the country you know some people will probably give this update later after it's changed again and uh, if you're looking for information on coming here or going back to states just google it it's really not that difficult you know check with the uh, .gov in the u.s and then check ph here and their information rules not that hard check with the bureau of immigration and if you buy a ticket to come here, you don't have to pay almost three grand to get here. It's really cheap to come here. Price of fuel is up. And uh, domestic flights in the U.S., price of fuel is up. And uh, there's a lot of jobs in, in the uh, industry right now because people just don't want to work. People don't want to go through all the stupid vaccine mandates the current administration came up with. This guy's an idiot. Sorry, my opinion. I can say what I want to say. But it's Thursday. I'm gonna go to some more stuff, figure out what we're going to um, carry. We have four luggages and a small TV and a two year, seven month old little boy. <laughs> but uh, looking forward to trying out Saudi Airlines too. 777 ER 300 we're gonna go on and um, it's uh, it's a wonderful flight when those babies land it's like butter seriously somebody asked me if I was nervous the other day no I'm excited you know well some guys are like, why are you leaving such a beautiful place? Bro, I'm not sitting in Palawan or Boracay, Boracay, whatever you want to call it. I'm in the middle of Mindanao, the place where the U.S. is saying don't go. Yeah, well, the weekend's coming. We're praying for Chicago and all those places to get 100 shootings every weekend. It's ridiculous. Praying for the good old USA and where we're going back. But, uh, we're excited about moving to Texas. You know, like I said, guys, you come in here, just Google it. You know what I mean? It's not that difficult. All right. Quantum Jessica living in the Philippines, soon to be Texas. Over and out.